welcome back. We're now at part three of Act Five. This may be the end. Seems like a bit of an odd ending, though. You know, I feel like we need to resolve stuff with Serene. And that needs to happen in, like, you know, some respect. Look, I know I've kept you in the dark. But when I started my work, you were so young, and afterwards, I always hoped it would all pass you by without touching you. Yeah. I get it. Come on. Let's just go to the future and fix this mess. Ooh, something up there. Oh, and a Cronon saw somewhere. But first, let's get this. Let's see what it is. Hmm, I guess that's the only narrative object. Which means we've got another plot heavy bit. <clears throat> Damn. Rusted shut. Jack, a hand? One more time. When Monarch came for the time machine at the university, Paul was trapped in it. He escaped into the future. But whatever happened to him there changed him. Somehow he found my machine there. And used it to come back to 1999. Hmm. And found in Monarch. He escaped from Monarch and became what he escaped from. Insanity. I never should have built the machine. I should have left well enough alone. The stutters are gonna get worse fast. And there's... No, don't shut down! Ah, you dick! In them. What do you mean? Shifters. I can't even describe it. it. It was this guy that I've seen, but... Living distortion. Why do I feel it's gonna be Jack himself? Believe me, you wouldn't. I feel that'd be like, you know, the ultimate, oh my gosh. Just the way I left it. Hope it still works. It does. Oh wait, no it doesn't. Yeah. We need to fix it. Alright, we'll go to the future. A little after your time of departure. Before the fracture has stopped time permanently. Maybe give it a few days. I'm a little concerned about this. It'll be dangerous. Of course it'll be dangerous. At this point, what isn't? I have been curious to try this. Give it a few. Give it a day at least, because I'm pretty sure when we get out there, Serene's gonna be there waiting for us. Wow. So this is what it looks like. What well, what looks like? Do you mean the actual yeah. corridor? Because you've been in it. It'll be a little past the point you were at when you left to save me. That's our window. When we know it can work, but before time actually ends, we're good. It may not be much of a window. Monarch was sure it was imminent. <laughs> like they're experts. They kind of are. All they know, they stole from me. You worry about your end, I worry about mine. I don't know, that Sophia right. Amaral seems pretty wise. This is amazing. All those years, I never knew. Oh crap. Hang on, Will. Oh. Crap, I knew it. What the hell is it? Alright, how many am I f oh damn, that's more than I thought. He went flying. That was fun. That was really fun. We don't have time for this. Better not, Jack. 
Hi, Saroon. Oh, crap. This will be the one shift where I fight. I know. Where'd those guards go? I feel sorry for Serene here. I'm glad I chose Control though. I'm glad he still retains a bit of himself. Alright, who's left? What's that man? Oh! What the friggity no, 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 no. fuck is he doing? These guards aren't too tough. Better not, Jack. Hmm. Didn't think that skipping that would take ah. this. Oh, there we go. A lot of guns. What am I meant to do here? Do I just avoid that? That, that thing's growing pretty big. Does it have a limit? It's vulnerable now. Where is he, though? Let me punch, let me punch, let me punch.
Where'd he go? There he is. Is it over? Did I get him? Usually it's rule free. I thought there'd be one more. Oh, no. Time for the finale. Ooh. Disappear. Oh, no. I was going to disappear and that'd be who we saw earlier. Nope. He's gone now. There's his blood. Well, there we have it. Time to go wake up Will and save the day. Save every day. Every day that ever could be. Every day that ever will be. What? Never mind. Tell me later. We got work to do. You know, I mean, Serene was your friend. You could show a bit of empathy. I'll have to hook up the counter measure to the core. It's designed to hypersaturate the Maya Joyce field with chronon particles. The time machine is like an amplifier. That'll cause a chain reaction and rejuvenate the field. It'll be a universal event. I'll take your word for it. Just make it happen. Jack, give me a hand with this. The uh, whole game option two is pick up that. Okay, move. Okay, there we go. What do you need? The mesh's charge is low. We'll need a jolt of chronon particles. A jump start. That's you. Well, what's happening? Hey, I did it on normal difficulty. Oh! Oh, also got the achievement for normal. What's happening? Oh. He's dead. Like, fully this time. The countermeasure. It stitched time back together everywhere. <coughs> the destruction couldn't be undone. The lies we lost were real. But we fixed it. Jack. <sighs> Will. Clocks kept on ticking. Come on. Come on. I think we just saved the universe. Yep. Where's Paul? He disappeared. Or well, disintegrated. It's gone. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Will, he was wrong about everything. Was he? Go easy Will. on the guy. The countermeasure worked. What happened? Have you got Cronon Syndrome now? Of course. I'll have to run a few tests to confirm. But there's... Well, there's no reason 
to believe that the fracture isn't over. <laughs> What's happened to... One more question. Paul Serene's entire philosophy was that time is a set path, and nothing can be changed. At the time, you obviously disagreed. But after everything you've seen and done, we need to know. What do you believe now? Why are you even here? Was he right? Oh, he told us something. Or is it possible to change things? Bulletproof vest or something. I'll come back for you. Oh, no. That was an interesting end. I'm glad that for the most part, recording the ending kind of went off without a hitch. By communication, I got a blue screen, but less than the past two, which I feel were a bit iffy when I was recording. And I did, I will admit, get a bit annoyed during those ones. But that ending was a little bit anticlimactic. I mean, we don't know why he's you know, talking to her. We don't know why he kind of went all shifter-like. We don't actually know anything about the shifters. We're kind of left at a bit of a loss as to what Hatch's motivation was. I mean, I'm guessing that, you know, that note that was left in Serene's office was from Hatch, and I don't know, maybe in like his own way he thought like doing this was good. Like maybe he thought turning people into shifters and creating a world of shifters was better. Well, either way though, there we have it. That Lance Riddick guy was such a good actor. I mean, don't get me wrong, the others were as well, but damn, I'm still freaking impressed to hell with that guy's acting chops. Because to be honest, I mean, when I got this game, I thought like the big star was going to be Aiden Gillen. Not in the sense like, you know, he'd be the focus, but... You know, usually like... In a lot of stuff you see, there's one person you think, wow, they were really good for the part or something like that. Like Ryan Reynolds for Deadpool. curious as to if I've, you know, influenced the ending at all. I mean, I know you can influence the journey, but does your ending change at all?
Geneva, baby, gonna teach it to you. Who cares? Who cares what the future brings? Black road long, and I drove and drove. I came upon. Road. The night was hot and black. I see Robert Johnson with a ten dollar guitar strapped to his back, looking for a tune. the real killer crew, Robert Johnson and the devil man, don't know who's gonna rip off who, driving my car, flame trees on fire, sitting and singing. Take a room with a view. Hear a man preaching in a language that's completely new. Yeah. Making the hot cots in a flop house bleed while a cleaning lady sobbing to their mops in a bell. It's a nice song. Versus the cue with the Zulu and moves on to Amazonia, cries with the dove.
You know, I gotta say, to the credit of this game, they did do quite a few stunts for the live action bits. Alright, well, there's the end of the credits. Let's see if there's a post credit scene. If there is, great. If not, ah well. I was going to show the whole credits anyway. Huh. Very common nowadays, that one. I think that means they filmed it in Georgia? Or some something to do with that. <laughs> the characters in the men's For goodness sake, I mean it's it's pretty it's frustrating that something like that needs to be put on everything nowadays. I mean let's be honest, we'd hardly believe like there's some CEO out there doing all this in real life. You've been very patient with us and very helpful. Thank you. Yeah, well that patience is starting to wear pretty thin. Of course. Does he still have his time powers, right I wonder? Outside. What is? Oh, they're gonna let him use the time What's machine yours? again. Shit. Finally. Thought you wanted to talk, not get my life story. How the well, fuck are you alive? Of all of this. And you can understand our need to find out exactly what happened. I heard it's all being pinned on Paul. It's quite the feat. Paul Serene always danced to his own tune, you know that. He and his delusions did tremendous damage to Monarch, but we can still salvage this company. We could use a man like you. Don't it's not trust the same him. Monarch you know, Mr. Joyce. Your exceptional qualities are obvious, and we both know you have certain needs our expertise could help with. We can help each other. Don't trust him. Also, why is it jumping like this? Ooh, interesting. We've got a junction. Oh. We don't actually get to choose that. Hmm. Oh, that's... That was weird. That was very odd. I mean, what are they hinting at? That there's going to be a sequel, maybe? I gotta say, all that did though at the end was like just confuse me a bit more. I mean, how is he alive? Doesn't really explain his motivations, and also. What happens next? Also seems weird that he's so willing to work with Hatch. I mean, like, Hatch is kind of the bad guy of the story. Anyway, let's just see roughly how I did. Alright, admittedly at the beginning I was a little... slow getting into the swing of things. As time went on, I think I started to get the hang of it. Minus the occasional hiccup. <laughs> yep, there's the final stats. 92% complete. There we have it. Missed one media, missed seven computers, 15 documents, 23 Chronon sources, one in. Oh wait, no, no intel. 
sorry, bit of a distance between me and the screen, and one quantum ripple. Well, I'd say that went all right. So anyway, thank you for watching the series. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please like or subscribe to the channel, and goodbye.